Well, I thought anybody who likes watching my other videos would get a kick out of my air compressor. I got this last year. I wanted a compressor and I wanted an old compressor. And you can see I got what I wanted. This is a United States air compressor made in Cleveland, Ohio. I have to assume it's from the 1920s, though I don't really know for sure. When I got it, it did run. Obviously, the motor is not original. I think this would have had a repulsion start induction run motor made by either Wagner or Century or one of those. I'd love to find another one and put it on here. It would have had a flat belt, but it's just running off a single little V-belt. It seems to work fine. Uh, it's got an old pressure gauge on there. It had an old pressure relief valve, but I replaced it with a modern one. And I also added a tank drain down there so that we can blow off some of the moisture in the tank. Hopefully get this tank lasting a little longer because the new replacements are not nearly as cool looking. They don't come with rivets anymore. Uh, <laughs> I did add um, a, an external uh, relay with a control panel over here. Over here. Because being an occasional user of compressed air, I was turning this thing on and waiting for it to charge up and then it would shut itself off and then i'd have to remember to turn off the power to it either at the disconnect or at the breaker because otherwise it would you know it does leak down after a couple of days and it would keep on filling itself and waste some electricity usually i only need one tank full of air or less and so i put this thing together when you push this button uh you can it, it just will run once and once it shuts off then that's it or you can flip the switch and it will stay running. Um, it'll obviously turn off when it's up to pressure and then turn back on when it drops down. So this is the uh, fill tank once button and this is the keep tank filled switch. So I'll press this. And now it's running. You can hear it's nice and quiet and smooth. I love listening to this thing. It's so much more pleasant than any modern compressor. So that'll shut off when the gauge gets up to about 120. But if I were to switch this on, it would just uh, keep itself, uh, it would stay live. As soon as the pressure dropped below like uh, 90, it would turn back on. And of course we don't want that, so we're gonna shut that off. And uh, the only trouble is there's no way for it to turn off now before you are up to full pressure besides flipping the breaker. And I've just reset it. You can see that uh, without that unloader tripping, you've still got pressure on the pump. You could see that it was uh, um, turning the flywheel a little bit. But uh, anyway, there's my, uh, my setup. Anybody who's watched my video on old Filtex Central Vax will recognize this and that as being cannibalized from an old Filtex unit. And the relay in here is very similar, but it's got a 120 volt coil because uh, the, uh, the control voltage is 120, not 24. I didn't want to have to use a separate transformer, but not a, not a difficult little circuit to put together. And uh, I think it increases the functionality of this unit. And uh, hope you enjoy watching.